find the functions of g of x. Okay, so we do know that the zeros are negative 3 and 3. We just found that out. We also know that the constant term is negative 9. Okay, so we'll use that to answer the intercepts question. Okay, so to find the x-intercept is the same thing as finding the zeros, except this time we're going to write them as ordered pairs. Negative 3, comma, 0, and positive 3, comma, 0. Those would be my two x-intercepts. To find my y-intercept, remember that is just going to be 0, comma, the constant term, which in this case is negative 9. So there we go. Those are my three intercepts.